teenagers with guns committing robberies. It's not an unusual story, but this one is. Good evening, everyone. The teenagers who terrorized patrons and the owner of an East Walnut Hills market on Saturday are ages 14, 15, and 16. And what's unusual is they have no criminal record until now. And when you find out why they robbed the store, Local 12's Deborah Dixon says you will simply shake your head. Deb joins us from the market on Woodburn Avenue with this neighborhood crime alert. Deb? Hi, Rob. This is an area where two very dynamic neighborhoods come together. East Walnut Hills and Evanston, very cool things are happening. There's new apartment buildings down the street, a coffee shop, an Asian restaurant, and a sales market. It's the kind of place where the CEO of 3CDC might stop to shop. And that's exactly what happened Saturday when the place was robbed. This is video outside the market before it was robbed Saturday afternoon, before three teenagers put on Halloween masks and went inside, one of them pointing a gun at patrons and employees. There is no security video inside. They forced people to the ground, um, ordered them at gunpoint to empty their pockets. They ordered the store to empty the cash register. One of the patrons is Steve Leeper, CEO of 3CDC, a development corporation. He canceled his stolen credit cards right away and police investigators started looking at security video to get a description. They got much more than that. Two of the suspects were sharing a drink, and we were very hopeful that they were going to set that drink down, and they did. And they actually placed it in a garbage can, and we were able to go to the garbage can, that garbage can right there, and uh, you can see it. They, they placed the, uh, the cup in there, and we were able to retrieve that. DNA. and for DNA and, and fingerprints. The teens from different schools, Moeller, Aiken, and Taft, were already in a cab headed for Kenwood Town Center, where they used the stolen credit cards at the food court and a popular teen clothing store, Buckle, before the cancellations went through. When it did, the credit card company contacted Leeper. Cincinnati police called sheriff's deputies who found them inside the store. It was kind of shocking when you started looking into it. You know, we've got three teenagers, three different high schools. Uh, none of them had any criminal record. And when you get down to their reason why they did it, it's even more shocking. Which is what? They wanted clothes to go to a party. The gun used in the robbery was an air gun. Look how real it looks when compared with a Cincinnati police service revolver. Rob, I just, I'm trying to think, how do you go there? How do you make that leap from, I don't have any criminal record, I need new jeans, here, let me rob a store and, and get there. It's, just, it's, like a, it's like a bad movie or a bad video game, and now it's their bad lives. That party they wanted to go to, that's not going to happen for a long, long time, Rob. It's so disappointing when you look at kids that age and think their life is going to be essentially over after doing something like this. But let me ask you this. They used a fake gun. Is it the same charges and the same penalties with a fake gun as it is with a real one? Yeah, yes, it is. It doesn't. If you use that gun, everyone inside here thought it was real. They acted like it was real. It looks real. And they are all charged with aggravated robbery and with using, misusing a credit card. So, yeah, they're, they're in big trouble, all for clothes to wear to a teen party. Rob. Deb, thanks very much. The teens are held tonight in juvenile detention ahead of their initial court appearances.